But I know that there's something else that's particularly kind of close to your heart, um, and that has to do with kids. Uh, yeah. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that? Uh, well, I, I, uh, I started a service organization. It's called Fresh World Foundation. And basically, the whole, whole premise was I, was, I was with friends, and we were like, you know, we wanted to, to create a situation where young people could, like, serve their community. And the way to do it is like you always got to go through something or somebody to do it. And when you do it, it's like it's always kind of hard or you don't know if it's really happening. You send your money like, oh, I hope that gets there, you know. Yeah. But me, I'm always like, man, uh, how can I how can I truly help out? How can I how can I be of service to the world? You know, mm -hmm. and as we talk, I was like, you know what? We need to start an organization and we need to create an opportunity, the opportunity for people that are young. To, to be able to make the, the type of impact that they, that they want to make. Uh, mm -hmm. Every young person I meet these days are like, you I'm like, what do you want to do? They're like, uh, I don't know what I want to do. I just know I want to help people. Mm -hmm. You know, and that, that that's, uh, let me know something about the world. And it's like where it's going. Like yeah. a lot of people will look at the world and be like, oh, it's, it's so bad. It's going to hell, right? But yeah. after I talk to all of these people, I'm like, Nah, man, these people really just want to, you know, do good. Like, the younger you know, generation. The younger generation. I, I get scared personally sometimes growing up now even more and more because I feel like the world does get uglier. But I know that you have to keep faith right. in, in our next generation because they are. That's the they future. Are, they yeah. are, that's good, though, that you spend so much time talking to, you know, younger generations and finding out that they feel that way. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's rewarding because, you know, uh, me, like, I have some opportunities, you know, like, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm blessed for like this opportunity. I want to thank you also. But it, it just the opportunities that I'm afforded. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I want to be able to open up those same opportunities for other people. And it's rewarding to to know that you were an opportunity for somebody else. You know yeah. what I mean? And, yeah. and that's just that's awesome to me. You know? Yeah. No, sharing is definitely caring and um, leadership. You know, like yeah. some people sometimes I think that they don't they don't understand that. It, Nobody can do things by themselves in this right. world. Nobody can. You have to have somebody else to support you. And that's definitely, you know, a good thing that you're doing by helping those kids and, uh, you know, trying to make a difference and hoping that our world doesn't become as ugly as what everybody thinks it's going right. to become. <laughs> right. Well, if we have our way, it won't. Yeah. Well, you know, we got you. We're behind you on, you know, your future endeavors for things. Word. With everything. So, yeah, that's definitely. Cool. That's cool. So, do you have another fight coming up here sometime? Uh, like, maybe in the next couple months? Or, shoot. I know I'm trying to get my butt tough enough here. I got to get back into the gym full time. I know, I know. But, uh, yeah. Uh, lately, I've been doing my, my, my basic training. Mm -hmm. You know, so I call it basic training because it's just all of the stuff that I do. Fundamentals. Yeah, fundamentals. Yeah. Man. I work fundamentals, fundamentals, run every day. Everywhere I go, I'm running right now. So while gas is going up, I'm burning the bottom of my soles and my shoes. Mm -hmm. Everywhere I'm at, everywhere I'm going, I'm running. And uh, I'm just putting myself through the ringer of what mm -hmm. I need to do, you know. I work a lot, y'all. Like, to be honest, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So all my all my workouts are like early morning late night workouts yeah. and they're like the extra they're yeah. just going the extra <laughs> mile you know what i mean yeah. so i gotta i gotta be able to create a space like some of the things that i'm doing i gotta really be able to knock them out in order to to, to get into the fight mode and really you know yeah. get my mind there because it, it really it's really hard work yeah it, i think even fighting itself is not so much the actual i mean it is a huge part of your physical attributes and your skills but i think it has just as much to do with the mental preparation because if you walk into that cage thinking that you're going to lose that fight, you're going to lose, yeah, like, lose. in your head, you know? Like, it, it is very much mental preparation. Yeah. So, totally agree with you on that. Saturating, <laughs> saturating with win, man. Win yes. Win. <laughs> Don't give up. Fight hard, you know? And that's that's the whole motivational uh, uh, speech for the day. Like, you know, I, I know uh, this is supposed to be about modeling and other things, but, man, just keep fighting. You know what I mean? Keep keep going for your dreams. Don't give up. Live life like uh, Ashley said. Like it's it's all about living. Like you know what I mean? And, and don't don't ever let anybody tell you you can't do something or you know give you reasons why because they gonna give you reasons why not to do it. Mm. They gonna tell you why you should stop. They gonna t all of that. Even even when all odds are against you, fight. That's it. That's that's what I gotta do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fight for your life. For for life itself. Yeah, you, you did that, right? Fight uh, for life. Or or fight for fashion. Fight for fashion. Yes, yeah. that's that's my charity, my okay. charity baby. That hopefully, I'll get some good sponsors too to come back on when I get back from LA this summer, and we'll see. So. Word up. Hopefully, we get it going again. Word. Yeah.
we can definitely collaborate. Cause, oh, know. I know, and the, the, the connections I have with MMA now, I think, are definitely going to be able to make this more of a dream come true again. Or, so. or, yeah. But yes. Uh, anyway, Chris, um, I just want to say thank you again for okay. um, you know giving us the opportunity to feature you as our uh, May male cover model. Um, do you have anything else that you want to say at all? Uh, I'd like to thank Miss Oolala.com uh, for featuring me. This is a, a, one of the greatest experiences of my life. You all should check it out. Be on the lookout for everything that's coming up. Uh, Ashley's doing great things all the time, so follow her. Vote for her for Playboy June 2011. <laughs> If they start the, the May contest soon here, we'll see. <laughs> but yes. So, um, what are your, your Twitter, Facebook? Uh, how can people catch up with you online? Uh, at Facebook, it's Chris Bolton, C H R I S B O L T O N. And it has like uh, Chinese letters between it, and that's business. And uh, I'm C B the business, uh, C B T H A B U S I N E S S. Mm -hmm. at, <laughs> Is it the at Twitter? Yeah. Okay. So it's at C B T H A B U S I N E S S. That's okay. I'll put a little uh, thing on the bottom of it yeah. to where it says that the, the whole thing on it is cool. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and checking us out. And uh, we'll see you uh, next month yeah. with our um, one more female that we have for June. And after that, we are on break for the summer. So check you later. Peace. Okay, cool. Let's see if the camera actually 